homebrew, want to make better beer, want to see what other homebrewers are doing. I went to Brew Your Own Brew homebrew shop in Scottsdale, Arizona, where Jeff May showed me how to get ready for the 2018 American Homebrewers Competition. First lesson, gear up for extract brewing. There's two ways a homebrewer can start brewing. The first is extract. Most homebrewers begin with this to get their feet wet. Extract brewing makes use of concentrated malt extract to let you skip the actual malt extracting process and saves you several hours. What equipment would I need to do that? Basically, you would need a, a kettle to brew in, a primary fermenting bucket, a bottling bucket, and then bottles to package, uh, to package your product, or you can keg your beer as well. Next step, pick a recipe and grab your ingredients. I'm a big fan of IPAs. What, what do I need to make that? The IPAs are usually on the bitter side, so you're going to add usually a heavy dose of bittering hops at the beginning of your boil. Homebrew stores often sell kits with all the ingredients necessary to make an extract brew. Malt extract, hops, and yeast. The devil is in the details, though. And then you'll also add multiple hop additions throughout the boil. Extract brewing takes about three to four hours, and then it's time to let it ferment. The start to finish fermenting process is about four to five weeks to get it from brew day to where you're getting it into the package. The last step in the home brewing process, packaging. So if I bottle it, how long will it take? It takes about nine to 10 days to build carbonation in the bottle. Okay, what if I don't want to wait that long? Uh, it takes about 36 to 48 hours uh, force carving in the keg. So The best part of the process after all the hard work, enjoying the brews of your labor. Cheers. Slantia. Hey. Dude, that's delicious. You like it? It's nice and light. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a lot more harsh. Brewing your way to happiness on The Breakdown.